been traveling a little in the last couple of months and beat makers have been hitting me up to inquire what sort of gear I use to record audio when I'm on the go. For example, last week's beat making video which I filmed on my hotel balcony in Sicily. Or other jams like this on the flight over. Or this by the beach. Alright, to start with, this is my basic setup. In this case, which came from a Turkish Airlines flight, this is what had the toothbrush or whatever in it. The PO33. This is just a bag that I had a Toshiba hard drive in. Got my headphones. These are Sennheiser CX300 II's. These are what I listen to everything with, so this is good for having to mix with headphones on the fly. I got a 3.5mm jack retractable. This I used to sample from my phone and also plug directly into the Roland Go mixer, which is the interface I use to go into my phone. This of course comes with a USB cable. Next up, I have to give a shout out to DeckSaver for the 404 cover. This thing is a lifesaver. This is awesome. In this little bag, I keep a couple of RCA to jack cables. This is what I use to connect the pocket operator into the 404 and then the 404 into the Go mixer. Alright, when I'm filming, I've got a little tripod for the iPhone, no big deal. And lastly, my phone. Alright, so that's more or less how that goes together. Alright, uh, first I should talk a little bit about how I feel about the Go Mixer. Pros, it's lightweight, it's slim, and it's got a hell of a lot of inputs. So I can have the SP running into it, I can have a guitar running into it, I can have a mic running into it all at the same time. The con, the major thing that's annoying me, is that the master volume controls the overall recording level into the phone as well as the monitor out, which is your headphone listening level as well. The trouble with this is that to get enough level from the line in to get your optimal volume in the videos you're recording, it's not only too loud to listen to but also often starts distorting. That said, the recorded audio still sounds perfect, just the listening while recording sucks donkey balls. Because of that, I prefer to set the level in this app that I got and then listen to the audio directly from the SP. So this app here is called Orphonic. And you'll see up here, there's a meter. So I can see that I can just pump it up a little bit more there. And there we go, that's cool. Now this is what I'd use if I was making a beat on the PO33 or the 404 and I was I wanted to record it just in case, or just record the audio just for safekeeping, or even as the final product to be mastered later, whatever. That of course is also set the level we want for making a beat video. Alright guys, so that's pretty much a breakdown of what I do. Get at me below with what you like to use, because I'm still totally a work in progress. I'm not sold that this is my final solution. I need, I need something better. So if you've got something better, don't keep it a secret. Alright, latest.